guys, B-Man here. Welcome to today's video. Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys. We're gonna jump straight into the tips here. And as you see right here, when you're in hard mode and you're grinding out your resources and you're doing your farming, guys, just be aware that you can actually change the reward for these morphuses. So I was grinding out for a while, not realizing you can change that, not re wondering why I wasn't getting my energy activators. You actually have to change it to be able to get those. But with that said, guys, as you see here, you wanna come along, you wanna activate all of the add-ons to be able to make the difficulty much more so that you have a hundred percent chance to get your act your morphosis when you're doing this but with that said guys let's get straight into what this whole video is about what this video actually is about is i want to show you guys the only two descendants that you need to get right through this game yes you really only need two you need one descendant for all of your open world grinding for all the missions like you see here the dungeons and everything like that and that is bunny and i've got the build for you guys and then you need one more descendant to be able to get through all of the intercept battles and carry you through all of that and that is lepic now lepic is your starting character so i recommend that everybody choose Lepic as their first operator then very very early on in your storyline you can unlock bunny and you can get bunny do that and get bunny or buy bunny for 300 if you want to skip doing that mission but it's a very short mission and easy early on and you can get bunny early on so my recommendation guys is that you start out with Lepic as your first descendant why is because you will want to be have Bunny and Lepic as your two descendants that carry you through this game. Now, while you're doing the story, just play the story out and complete the story before you start farming. While you're doing the story, you will actually obtain two energy activators and one crystallization catalyst. Now, don't waste those. Use one of your energy activators on Bunny to make it so she can have up to 80 and then use your other energy activator on Lepic and use an, the crystallization catalyst on Lepic, okay? Doing that will mean that you have enough power and bunny to be able to carry you through all of the hard mode missions, even if you up the difficulty of them to be able to get 100% Morphous rewards like you see in this gameplay right here. Bunny, you'll be able to make her tanky enough. So with that said, let's go over the bunny. How you see Bunny here is I have prioritized a lot of health for Bunny's build, right? Because health is king for Bunny. She just needs enough health to be able to survive these end of the dungeon boss interactions like you see right here. Now sometimes they can be quite stingy on the health drops. So what you need is quite a lot of health to be able to get between those health drops. So what we have on Bunny in this setup is I have 15,000 health. So mainly more you're prioritizing for Bunny is her health. But we'll get into that a bit later. But also Bunny is your main character for doing all these dungeon areas. And then you have Lepic for the intercept battles only. And Lepic is the one you're going to want to put most of your damage out on. And you're going to also want your activator on Lepic so that you can squeeze that little bit more damage out of Lepic, okay? Because it's not important for Bunny. Bunny's pretty much just overpowered as is for everything, but she does lack in the DPS when it comes up to the intercept battles. So that's where you need Lepic. So that's why I say use your activator on energy activator on Bunny to get you right through the story and then at the end you can use your second activator on Lepic once you get to hard mode and the active in the catalyst on Lepic to be able to carry you through and kill all the hard mode bosses in hard mode because then you've gotten right through all the story you've gotten through hard mode and now you are all got all you need to farm out all the rest of the content in the game you can then go through and I would prioritize after that uh, the next descendant I would prioritize farming up would be Enzo so you can make your vault things easier to get and then you'll be able to power farm really easy throughout the game so with that said guys let's go over bunny's build that i've got for you guys here and then we'll get into lepic as you've seen here this was the mission we've done to farm up the energy activators that you'll need to be able to further increase your power and your descendants etc and we're getting the energy activator blueprint from this and then we'll use Lepic to go and actually get it from the intercept boss. 
so what we have for here for bunny this is our end game all game build for bunny for doing all missions anything that's not a boss intercept pretty much here we've got this set up here now we're going for singularity skill power because it's our singularity skill skill is the main skill we're using so this is what we've gone through for on this one now for our components it's not really a big deal for bunny so it doesn't don't worry about set items or anything like that for bunny all that we're worried about for bunny is just getting max hp in all of these slots as much as we can so i've got two two max hp on that one max hp max hp hp recovery modifier more hp and just as much hp as i can and in here i also want tried to get some shield because shield is that little bit of when things just hit you one or two times as you're going past your shield takes that damage and you don't it doesn't chip away at your health and so that is actually a big thing too so try and get a little bit of shield going as well and with that together the health and the shield you're super tanky so we've gone for health here 15,000 health as you see it's a very healthy bunny build so if you come into here what we're running here is this is the build we're running for bunny this one's a bit more optional for you it's got a bit of flexibility this right here you don't need to be running this right here i just run this as an experiment i'm not even sure if it's helping me much with my survivability you can maybe th cut this out if you don't have this or want, don't want to run this and you can use those extra nine slots for some more health maybe you have a regeneration boost so you're bringing in more health or you boost up your health a bit more or something like that that's pretty much up to you optional but this build here is what i'm running right now and this actually does work really well as you've seen it's the build that's run in all the gameplay and it's the build i use to be able to grind out the game in hard mode so what we've got here is this transcendent but again you don't need that the rest of it you do need we've got increased health we've got electric focus on electric skill expansion so we just destroy everything on the screen skill cooldown because then every time our ability is finished it's actually ready to reactivate so we don't have any downtime then we have tactician and we have more health and that's just the basic simple bunny build and we do have the free activator on our bunny and with that said guys that's simple and that's our bunny that destroys the entire game with bunny and then we just use lepic to destroy the intercept bosses so let's get in and show you guys the lepic build now this build here is a very low level lepic that you will use before you go before you get up to the pyro boss on hard after you've gotten up to the pyro boss on hard transfer over to the slayer auxiliary set and put the entire set farm that boss and get the entire set onto you so that you can do it i have full-on guides for lepic that you can go and watch to be able to follow on after you've gotten up to that point so you can actually make those builds but what this build i'm going to show you today is the basic build so that you can get you right through to start killing hard bosses and everything and then you can just twiddle with it and muck around with it as you like making it a little bit more powerful as you go but this is going to be the basic that you need to be able to get you up and running so this one with bunny is all you will need to get right through the game so what we have we have a lepic right here and you want to try and get that fire skill bonus ratio and that critical hit damage on it and you want those in gold preferably they will make a big difference now this is it as you see here we got the ticks and all of this stuff now for our components we're going for health that's pretty much all we're focusing on for these at this point and on this one right here on our sensor we want to try and have max mp in here and mp recovery in combat but mainly the max mp is important for this build because it makes it so we can shoot more blasts out of our super weapon when it's out okay with that said that's all that we've got for that side of things and then we'll come into it this now all we've got done on here is we only have one crystallization catalyst on lepic and an epic energy activator you get those items while you're doing the story for free so you should have them for free while doing playing out the story so this is how you want to set up lepic as you've gone through and this will be your bossing 
Now for the guns, we have a tamer. I've used a crystallization catalyst on this, but you won't need to do that for this what this stuff that we're doing because you won't really need to do a lot of DPS with your gun as Lepix super weapon is where you're going to be doing the boss killing. So if you've got an extra, when you get an extra one, you can. It's optional. You can do a tamer up, but you won't need that for this. So pretty much this is your Lepic bossing build right here. As you see, we have 42% critical hit rate and we're doing 3.5% or uh, 3.5 times damage when we crit hit. So that is pretty much it when you're doing your bossing. We'll go in and we'll show you Lepic now doing the bossing. Okay, so we've got Dead Bride on hard. Now, keep in mind when you watch this gameplay how fast we kill this boss, this is worst case scenario, okay? Lepic gets absolutely way more crazy at killing bosses than this build right here. I'm showing you the build at the entry level, so even at its worst, you're going to be able to destroy bosses with this build. Then, after, as you get further on, you get better gear, you're going to be able to do it far better. So as you see here, the crits, we're hitting for 1.7, but once you build this up, you'll be able to crit for like 2.4 and much more, and do a lot more damage. But as you'll see here, even with this build not even built fully built, we can still have no trouble destroying this boss with ease. Now, I use dying with this build to be able to actually farm the bosses a lot faster. So with Lepic, when you're farming these bosses, because it's so easy to kill these bosses, I actually find that it's a lot less... Um, less hassle and a lot easier to allow the boss to kill us to just get our abilities back faster instead of waiting to try and build up our mana because of how quickly we can destroy the boss so here i just let the boss kill me so i can come back my abilities are ready and then i can just have another blast at the boss once it comes out of its immunity stage so for me this works so much better and with this build it's a really good way for doing this you don't have to worry too much about survivability but with lepic he has that invisible invincibility state as well which helps so much with him it's actually crazy how much that invincibility state happens he goes for invincible for five seconds and all sorts but see as you see here we'll just blast her out now those flying things can be annoying sometimes so they interrupt us in this time which was unfortunate but it doesn't matter as you see we're still going to destroy her very easily she's straight back into her immunity state and we've only got to hit kill her one more time now we can die again because then we get another charge be our immunity state here we if we didn't sit on the water to, on the lava just then we would have been immunity but if you're touching lava during that immunity state it still kills you during it as you see here i'm just chilling here i don't ha i'm not worried about her killing me so i'm actually kind of allowing her to kill me if you want to sweat it out a bit more you can do it with no not dying it's very easy as well but because i'm impatient i just want to kill her faster i just want to use dying to recharge my abilities so all i'm doing here is i'm waiting for the second blast of ice and then i get out of here and now it's just a waiting game waiting for her to come out of this invincibility state and then we'll finish her health with one last final super cannon blast that's all it'll take our when we activate it the next time she is dead we can chunk more than that much health even with this low built at lepic now once we build this right up you will pretty much chunk all over 10 million in every time you activate your super weapon at the moment we're not doing that amount of damage but we will do that much damage later on once we actually level it up a bit more so as you see here we're now ready we go along, we activate our super weapon, and if we don't get hit by those things interrupting us, we can just toast her away. Simple as, easy as, with heaps of balls to spare. And this is the Lepic build, and we just got three transcendent mods from that thing. So you'll now be fully set up to be able to take on bosses, farm up transcendent mods. This is the transcendent mod, and that was a very slow kill for Dead Bride. And it was very easy kill with the Lepic. I don't know why it just said we got two when it said that we got three of those, but whatever. But as you see here, we're running this build 
right here, guys. It's simple, it's easy with Lepic, and again, Lepic gets way gruntier when you start building up. If you guys want to see the more in-depth builds to be able to make Lepic a lot more powerful, check out my other guides. This one, this video here is not really focused on making Descendants super powerful. This is more of a, a basic, hey, use these descendants guides use these basic builds for these descendants to get you up into the game and now from this point once you've got these descendants at this point you're going to find the game easy and you'll be able to go out and grind all the content in the game with ease so with that said guys get down there smash that like button for me subscribe if you're not already leave me an awesome comment and keep being awesome thank you guys for watching my videos and i'll catch you in the next one b-man